hi guys so this video will teach you how to create invoices on the paystack dashboard so first you would have to log into your paystack account once you log in you'll be taken to a dashboard environment by the sidebar you would find the option to create an invoice so click on it and you would see where to create an invoice so click on request a payment which basically means you're creating an invoice to request a payment from your customers or from your customer or from a particular customer basically the next pop-up will give you the option of entering the customer's email address and creating a simple or a detailed invoice so now um, if this customer is already part of your customer list you would find the customer's email address as one of the drop down options but if this customer isn't part of your list yet then you would have to create this customer and add this customer you would also have the option of adding this customer to your customer list so let's start with an existing customer so shake it exists already on my customer list so I can select and I'll have Shaker's details here but if Shaker does not exist or if I have another customer that does not exist say Diego at paystack.com I would have the option of adding more details about this customer so I can add the customer's first name, last name, phone number before choosing to create um, an invoice for this customer so let's create an invoice for Diego. Diego Roberts. Now I can either choose to create a simple invoice, which would require me to just type in an amount and a note to the customer. Or I can choose to create a PDF, which is a more detailed invoice that would give me the option to align the purchases of this customer. So let's go with this option next. There you go. You have a bigger space where you're able to add items, set due dates, which means set a date that this payment is supposed to come in, set your VAT if you receive VAT from your customers, and set a note. So let's start by populating the list. So let's say Girasole is a business that sells items for men. So let's say Diego bought a belt, a nice leather belt. How many? One, two, three. You can choose the quantity right here. How much? Let's say it goes for 4,000 naira. Diego bought a shirt. How many? One, two. Let's pick two shirts. And both of them go for 5,000 naira. What else did Diego buy? Say sneakers. How many? One. How much does this go for? Let's say 10,000 naira. As you populate the cost of each item, we automatically calculate the subtotal for this items as soon as you add your VAT amount we add this to the support total and give you a grand total of how much Diego is supposed to pay to you or to Girasole as your business now let's set the due date so let's say Diego is supposed to make this payment on the 5th of April you set the date and then you can also leave a note for Diego so let's say thank you Diego for purchasing from Girasole now we are done populating this list we can either choose to save draft if you're not ready to send it now 
or send now if you're ready to forward the invoice to Diego. If Diego is expecting this invoice today, for instance, you can forward this invoice to Diego. And this invoice would be sent to Diego at paystack.com, which is a registered email address imputed by you from the beginning. So here's the invoice. Now, the interesting thing about the invoice is as long as this payment has not been made, it will be tagged as not paid. And you can also set a reminder okay, to remind Diego of this payment. So let's say the due date is fast approaching. You can set a reminder. Um, and this reminder will be sent to Diego's email about this payment. And the link of the invoice will also be sent. Also, you can choose to just copy this link and send to Diego directly through another means. So it might be that, okay, you just want to be sure that Diego receives this invoice and you copy this link and send to Diego via a messaging app, okay? Yes, so um, you can also edit this invoice. So let's click on edit. It allows you to make changes to the items that allows you to make changes to the cost and once you make any change at the cost side of the item the subtotal and the total gets updated automatically here and that's it you have made the necessary changes if you want to make any change to the notes you can do that here say thank you Diego for purchasing from Girasole and remove the full stop. Any change whatsoever is allowed with the edit option on the invoice. So send now, once you click on send now, an updated invoice will be sent as an email to Diego at paystack.com. Also, if you click on duplicate, you can make another copy of this item. So let's say Diego bought items for himself and his son for instance you can duplicate maintaining the email address and you are also able to edit the items to suit the second invoice now you can mark as paid if diego chooses to pay you via any other means apart from the invoice link that was sent to him via email you can choose to mark this as paid so you no longer see it as pending on your paystack account so when you mark as paid this tag here automatically changes from not paid to paid you can also delete this invoice if you as a merchant feel that there is no need to create or there is no use for this invoice anymore basically so this is how it works this is how you create invoices on paystack to find the list of your invoices you can click here again and then you find a list on this page with their status okay and if you've received any amount we put this amount here from for you and any other amount that you've not received here and if there is no pending invoice this is in at zero zero if you need more information on this i would like to direct you to paystack.com help where you are able to find more information on how to create invoices on paystack thank you very much